Hey guys, so we got new flashback content, but there's actually something else I want to discuss today, and that is this new flashback set. So they did release uh, kind of an exclusive pack. You trade in seven gold collectibles, and you will get a flashback pack that uh, that gives you a guaranteed flashback player from any previous release. So we're going to go into seeing if there's any value to that, and if I think that you should do it or not. So first, let's take a quick look at uh, a few of the cards, so specifically the um, the Elias Lindholm and that Connor McMichael as well as the Olofsson because these actually still have value um, in terms of their release and cards that you should probably go after uh, if you're looking to upgrade your team other than you know that top end stuff so uh, let's go take a look at those three right now so we'll start first with the Elias Lindholm he's 6'1 192 shoots right uh, but he does have 99 faceoffs, meaning that you can put him on the draw if you are someone who likes right-handed centermen. Um, his shot is 94 across the board, hand stats all above 95, and his body checking is 90. This is a very, very good card, and uh, definitely and it has the end game stats and build that you can use you know, for the rest of the game if you were to pack this. In terms of cost, he's going to cost a little bit more um, just because you know he is going to be rare. A lot of these cards are, but we'll take a look in the auction house if there is any, and there isn't, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see the value on him. But honestly, I put his value around 400k. Like That's a very, very good card. There's no reason to you know have to upgrade him if you if you don't have someone better as he's got you know perfect stats there so here is the london knights connor mcmichael 93 overall his winter national card was one of the best and honestly still decent today 99 skating uh, 99 shot power with 91 accuracy his hand stats a little bit lower than Elias lindholm's and his awareness stats in the low 90 as well but he does have 99 on the draw as well making him one of the better centermen in terms of those depth guys that aren't you know the team of the season players or 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 any of those high-end master set cards this is a very very good card and you know someone that you could use for the rest of the game as well if you were to pack him um, I would keep him if I did pack him to be honest with you and then lastly from Ferlanda we've got the 93 Victor Olofsson his young gun card was very very good back uh, when it did release now he does have 99 skating which is great his shot is in the high 80s low 90s although the wrist shot is 93 for both which is more important for a winger although you can put him on center because all of these winger cards are getting high faceoff stats for some reason his hand stats are above or in the high 90s puck control at 99 um, and an offensive awareness at 99 as well. This low key is a very, very good card. The only knock is that he's 5'11, but I'd be interested to try him out because I think he might be a really good winger card uh, just because of his puck control balance and that wrist shot, as well as his offensive awareness being 99. So, this is an interesting card, not someone that I would just overlook if I were to get him. Um, and I'd be curious to see what he is going for on the market, but again, I don't know if anyone has pulled him yet. We'll take a look real quick. And there is one up for 500k. That's a little too much. I would think around 350 is where I would probably pull the trigger so now let's talk about this set so it's trade in seven gold collectibles for a pack guaranteed for a pack with a guaranteed flashback player from any previous release so I did some digging, spoke with uh, the developers and whatnot, and got the full ins and outs of this because there are a few. We're gonna, I'll show you guys in a second that um, weren't really ever in packs. Uh, again, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. So if you go to the limited edition set and you go to flashback, here it is. You trade in seven gold collectibles and you will get this pack. So now let's discuss the value because the current value of a gold collectible is about 48,000 coins. It obviously is a little bit cheaper if you buy them or make them with players, but if you don't feel like sitting there for forever, I can understand that. So let's just talk based on that. If you do seven gold collectibles at about 48,000 coins, that's 336,000 coins. So keep that in mind as that's very important. Now, let's go to the event items and go through the pull list and see who you can actually grab. Now, I can confirm that none of the master set items are in the player pool, so all these guys you're not going to be able to get. Now, the Eric Carlson that was never really available because you had to actually upgrade him from the dynamic duo, I believe, to get his 94, they weren't in packs. They are now with this set. Same with the Joe Thornton, the Patrick Kane, the Brian McCabe. So let's go and take a look at what the most expensive in terms of, you know, um, if you were to look to buy them right now. So we'll take a look at the Joe Thornton real quick if there's any up. And there's two. 250,000 coins. Now, if that is among the best of what you can pull, and it is one, almost, you know, 80,000 coins cheaper than the 336 it would take to make that pack, that kind of indicates where we're going with this, right? So Artemi Panarin, for example, from the Blackhawks. We'll take a look if any of this is available. The one thing I will say is that you are going to be able to pull, you know, a lot of 
cards that aren't really available because the flashback players are kind of like prime time so just not really available all that often so when you think in terms of how many how many cards are in the player pool right like there's 81 obviously minus the six or sorry the seven master set players um you know you're looking at about 74 you know 74 and then you've you've got the the eight from today or the six from today you know you're looking at about 80 cards that you can pull from there's really only, I mean, three or four, and we're talking about, well, the, the three cards from today, this Eric Carlson, and I mean, even the Joe Thornton is less that actually have any value. There is a significant chance that you're going to pull one of these guys that are way down here. And to be honest, if you're spending 333 or 36,000 coins, it's just not worth it, guys. I like the fact that that's a cool value. But there, it's just far too expensive at this stage of the game, especially when you can save those collectibles and buy, you know, and work towards getting other master set players from this event. So while I think it is a cool idea, I just would avoid this one entirely, just not value for you guys. So I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments section down below, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Please subscribe if you're looking for daily hockey ultimate team content. You guys have a good one.